This video will provide an overview of some of the new capabilities and features in the 5.2 versions of JBoss Enterprise SOA Platform and JBoss Enterprise Business Rules Management System, or BRMS for short. This overview is based on a mortgage lender who's looking to build an intelligent and integrated application for receiving new loan applications, determining eligibility and pricing details, instantly pre-qualifying applicants, and managing the loan application process to either the disbursement or rejection of funds. In this high-level view of the application architecture, you can see how JBoss Enterprise middleware products are used together to implement this solution. As is typical of many integration projects, one of the first steps is to receive messages or data into the system. The JBoss ESB, part of the Enterprise SOA platform, provides this capability through a full complement of gateways and listeners. In our implementation, we accept new loan applications via SOAP-based web services, a file system transfer, and new in Enterprise SOA Platform 5.2 is the ability to receive messages using the Advanced Message Queuing Protocol, or AMQP. AMQP is the industry standard for interoperable messaging and is fully supported as part of the JBoss Merge Messaging product and its JCA adapter for Enterprise SOA Platform. Let's take a look at the ESB's file service configuration in JBoss Developer Studio. Here, we are looking at the JBoss ESB Configuration Editor. In the file system intake service, we have defined a file system listener. When a file arrives, it will start the services action pipeline where it will first transform and then enrich the message before sending it on to the next service. This next service is a sophisticated web service orchestration. This orchestration is implemented using RIFSAW, a new capability offered as part of the Enterprise SOA Platform 5.2. RIFSAW is a WSBeeple 2.0 compliant engine. Returning to JBoss Developer Studio, we can see the new WS Beeple 2.0 compliant editor. This highly visual editor provides a productive and intuitive environment for defining the steps and logic for orchestrating a collection of web services. In this orchestration, we can see that the process begins by receiving the loan application from the JBoss ESB. It then obtains a credit report from an outside credit rating agency. The credit report, combined with the loan application, is then packaged and sent to a decision service implemented in JBoss Enterprise BRMS. This decision service extracts and centralizes all of the intelligence required to determine eligibility and pricing. And since it's using JBoss Enterprise BRMS, when business conditions or policies change, you can quickly respond to these changes in real time versus the typical lengthy deployment cycles of traditional IT applications. JBoss Enterprise BRMS provides process owners, business analysts, and administrators with the ability to easily develop new rules, make changes to existing rules, and manage the governance lifecycle of these rules, all within a unified web-based application and repository. There are multiple ways in which to author rules using JBoss Enterprise BRMS. One popular way is decision tables. Decision tables are useful when you have a series of repetitive rule conditions and outcomes, and the only thing that varies are the parameters values. As is the case in the pricing decision table we see here, the conditions for pricing a mortgage are similar, the minimum and maximum loan amount, the length of loan, and so on. This is the case as well for the outcomes, approving the loan, the interest rate of the loan, etc. The only part that changes are the values for each cell in the table. So looking at row one, for example, we can see that if the loan amount is greater than 131,000, but less than 200,000 for a period of 30 years, and the deposit is not greater than $20,000, and the applicant is not self-employed, then the loan will be approved with an interest rate of 3.25%. Another great new feature in JBoss Enterprise BRMS 5.2 is support for complex event processing, or CEP. CEP enables the ability to perform temporal reasoning over a stream of business events with the goal of correlating these events to identify new, actionable information. As an added bonus, CEP leverages the same unified knowledge management system within the JBoss Enterprise BRMS. There is not a separate runtime to manage or language to learn to take advantage of this cutting edge technology. In the home mortgage origination demo application, we have included a level of business activity monitoring to our service orchestration. In order to ensure proper customer service levels, we want to be alerted if a given instance of an orchestration is taking an extraordinary amount of time to return a pre-qualification response as compared to the average of the last several completed service orchestrations. We have configured the RIFSAW orchestration engine to send its processing events to an ESB-hosted CEP service. 
This stateful service will manage the constant stream of events generated by the orchestration engine and push them into the knowledge session so they can be processed, matched, and correlated to identify any outliers. Looking back at the service orchestration, what we are trying to accomplish is to correlate the start event of the received loan application and the completion event of either the approved or rejected activity. Another rules authoring approach geared towards technical staff is writing rules within JBoss Developer Studio. As mentioned previously, the same rule language is used whether you're defining traditional business rules or defining rules to support CEP scenarios. The first rule we see here will fire when it detects a correlated start and end event. It will then calculate the total time to complete and create a new higher level event representing the completion of a pre-qualification response. The second rule, shown here, tries to match any pre-qualification response event created from the first rule, whose time is greater than two and a half times the average of the last five completed. If it finds a match, an alert is generated. As you have seen in this demo application, JBoss Enterprise middleware can be used to easily and visually build responsive, agile, and reactive world-class applications. To learn more about how to build the intelligent integrated enterprise with JBoss Enterprise middleware, please visit www.jboss.com.